What if you only had 24 hours to live? Wait, let me rephrase that. What if you were going to one of your regular checkups, one of your regular doctor visits, and your doctor looks you in the face and tells you, I'm sorry, you only have 24 hours left to live. How would you feel? What would you do? Would you have any regrets? Have you and are you living the life that you intended on living so far? Have you? Now, I want you to take just a second and think about it. I'm guessing you haven't. And why is that? What's holding you back? Tomorrow isn't promised. Let me say that again in case you didn't catch that. Tomorrow is not promised. And I, and I hate to scare you, but it's the truth. I live in Chicago, South South to be exact. It's people dying every day. Most of them innocent. Wrong place at the wrong time. They say at least two people get shot or get killed in Chicago every day. Every day. That's crazy. That's proof that tomorrow isn't promised. And again, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not. But it's real. And it's the truth. What are you waiting for? You. What are you waiting for? You got goals. You got dreams, you got plans, you got ideas, you got imagination. You have heart. You have heart. Use it, use it, use it, use it. Stop, stop saying I'm gonna wait till I get situated. Stop saying I don't have the money right now. Stop saying I don't know the right people or I don't have the right resources. Stop making excuses. That's all you're doing is making excuses. Stop that. And last but not least, stop saying I'm going to start as my New Year's resolution. I'm going all in <laughs> on New Year's. Stop saying that. What you do is you start right now. So when January 1st come around, you already ahead. You already in the race. You already going. You already moving. You where you need to be because you started already. The same opportunities you have, they won't be here tomorrow. They won't. It's not promised. Start right now with what you have. Right now. Right now. How do you know, how do you know how far you can go without trying? Nobody has gotten anywhere without trying. Nobody. Not him, not her, not them, not me, not you, not anybody. Not even, <laughs> not even Donald Trump. I know two people I went to school with that ain't even here right now. And I'm not even that old yet. You don't know how much time you got. You could be here today, going tomorrow. You don't know. Truth is you don't know. That's why it's so important. That's why it's so important. I'm trying to drill it in right here because it is important. It's important. Stop looking for the problems and start looking for the solution. You are the solution. I ain't trying to hear that. You are the solution. Sometimes you might ask, sometimes we might ask, God, why me? And God might say back, why not you? If not you, then who do you suggest? He has a plan for everybody. Everybody. Everybody got a purpose. Everybody has a purpose. I say, go after your purpose on purpose. Don't let life use you up. You use life up. That's one of my favorite quotes from Les Brown. From Live Your Dreams. One of my favorite books. If you get a chance, grab that. Don't be... One of those people that say, when I was your age, I used to, or if I can go back, I would, or I used, don't, don't do that. Don't be one of those people. We all know those people. 
Don't let that be you. Don't let that be you. Start right now. And you're never too old. It's never too late to get started, to do something great, to do something amazing, to be great, to leave a legacy, to leave something behind. Don't wait for the fight. You bring the fight to them. I don't care if it's one on five. I don't care if it's all odds against you, baby. You get in there. You get in that ring. You Roy Jones. You Mike Tyson. You Muhammad Ali. You, you Floyd Mayweather. Get in that ring. Get in that ring. You got something to prove. Not only to yourself, but to the world. To your family. If you got kids, then to your kids. But get in that ring. Get in that ring, baby.